In summer 2023, the University of Tennessee Knoxville reopened its on-campus college creamery. The parlor is a student-run venture. Beyond just the students working as employees in the parlor itself, there's also food science students who helped develop the products and retail and hospitality students who helped create some of the paper products and design the parlor itself. The UT Creamery is a nod to an older tradition among public land grant institutions, and that's having an on-campus dairy and promoting dairy and agriculture products. Here's a brief look at college creameries across the years. College creameries first started to appear across the U.S. in the South and Midwest after the 1862 Morrill Act by Congress, which established public land grant institutions to promote agriculture and machinery. As a result of the bill, college creameries began to pop up on campuses because students were learning how to take care of dairy cows. This is a photo from the Library of Congress of Iowa State University, and these are students learning how to breed and take care of dairy cows. Beyond caring for the animals themselves, students also learn about pasteurization, caring for milk, and how to turn milk products into value-added products such as cheese and ice cream. In the 1980s, quite a few colleges shuttered their creameries and their dairy farms because it just didn't economically make sense to continue to have cows on campus. However, there's been a bit of a recent resurgence in college creameries as alumni and other outside donors are looking to improve dairy research and agriculture experiences for students. The UT Creamery, for example, has the donor support of two alumni from the institution who wanted to reinvest in the dairy production. To learn more about college creameries and the value that they add for student experiential learning, you can read my article online at InsideHigherEd.com.